Hello friends, I am Avimanyu Kumar Vats. This is my very first video tutorial on wave config transformation. You can log in to my blog at itorian.com and send me your feedbacks at avimanyu at itorian.com. Find me on social networks as given on your screen. Okay, you must be aware about configuration settings in ASP.NET applications. Actually, in web application development process, usually we developers write our local database connection string in configuration file and at the time of deployment of website, we manually edit web config file to map the database on hosting server as well. But in BS10 has a pretty good new feature that is known as web config transformation. In this video tutorial, our totality will be to learn the way to accomplish this. Now on your screen you can see there is two different connection string. First one, first connection string is very simple and I hope you all are aware about. Second connection string is bit different than first one. Like its source will be IP address or server name or simply local host. Initial catalog is database file name and then database username and password. Now let's open up the VS10 and demonstrate it. Okay, this is a sample project for this demonstration. What I did, I click on file, name, new, project, and selected ASP.NET web application. It will bring following hierarchy for you. In this hierarchy, you can see there is two different transformation file. One is web config second web debug config web release config web config is our primary configuration file and web release configuration file will be used to transform the web config file while we deploy the website let's open web config file and web release configuration and look at the codes in web configuration file, I have following configuration settings to map my local database. And in web.release.configuration file, I have following information to map my remote database on hosting server. There is some key points you should know. For example, transform. This attribute inform the transformation engine the way to modify web config file for a specific configuration, transformation can do the following things for us. Replacing the node, inserting the node, or deleting the node, or rep removing attributes, or setting attributes. And another is locator. This attribute helps the transformation engine to exactly pinpoint the web config node that the transformation for web.release.config should be applied to. Locators can do following also, like match on value of a node's attribute, exact x path of where to find the node, and uh, a condition match to find a node. Now let's deploy our application and check is it really working or not. To do this, click on build, publish web application, and target the location and click on publish success to publish now open the published configuration file in notepad open the notepad and drag the configuration file in it here it is you can see our configuration string has been changed successfully so that's all about the configuration transformation I hope you like this thank you